I meet Ski Alley with Fortuna Entertainment. I hope to make it big someday. And Noir, Tama, Erex, and Tay. JW, there's so many Itskis. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> that Hana is speed. Okay, well, here we go. Let's start with meta. And our first one is plus one. It's key. You should plus one him, definitely. Okay, Mirage, mm -hmm. Falchion, Swap, Bonfire, Brazen Attack, Defense 3, Wrath 3, Drive, Defense 2, Heavy Blade 3, and the eight, and the stats are 43 HP, 55 Attack, 31 Speed, 36 Defense, 32 Res with 1 Merge. I'm not going to read the stats out because it's going to be all the same. Yeah, yeah, just once. Okay, Brazen with Wrath. Here's the thing. If you're going to do Wrath and Bonfire, that's already very, very Astromish. Yeah, I mean, well, Ashram's wrath is a little inconsistent with his weapon. It it is, but it's not terrible. It's not like a five percent threshold. A twenty five percent threshold is pretty fair. It's pretty fair, though. With Itsuki, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. He'll matter. always have it. The problem is he doesn't have the speed, and if you double with wrath, that's where it it really becomes. It's wrath doesn't always guarantee you have your special, but if you double, it's much much more likely. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't do QR, <laughs> but... Mm. Hmm. Now, I do like Itzy for the fact that he's effective against dragons, so he can just one-shot the dragons, and he hits pretty damn hard. So he's actually a good Heavy Blade user, and Heavy Blade only... All it cares for is if you have more attack than your foe's attack. So every every bit of attacking squeeze into Itzy, no matter what it is, does factor in. So between the Mirage, Falchion, Comet buffs, normal buffs, all of that... It all helps that heavy blade, so I agree with that. Yeah. It's just you would like Itsuki to double to really take usage of that wrath. Because otherwise, you're dropping well, it down by one cooldown. And then you gotta attack. You get attack minus one, you attack minus two. Like, it's not heavy blade or something. Sorry, it's not special fighter or something. You gotta actually attack twice for this heavy, for it to come out. I mean, I guess that's the trouble, isn't it? When you have that middling speed stat, you gotta figure out how to make path on a double right or you have to try to find some way to just bait out hmm right so that's the only thing i see that as an issue here other than that between the wrath and brazen that's a good synergy they both want to be under 80 percent, 75 percent. you'll be fine um and then afterwards i guess you can just wait your turns with bonfire and that bonfire is definitely going to kill stuff because when you do trigger it mirage falchion will get you that extra seven defense seven attack so between a normal attack and a defense onto the bonfire you're pretty much fine yeah yeah it's i have nothing bad to say about it's key i it's it's really and this is one of the cheaper builds by the way so i i do like that yeah that's a 33 damage bonfire pretty cheap mm -hmm. it takes his uh astrum and a aries not bad right all right this so, oh, geez, honestly, if you're bonus stuff, like it's, I would do that on Astro. Oh, okay then. Uh, this is a build that it depends on the rest of your team. If you run this with, like, say, Legend of Azura, you'll 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 be more than fine. Yeah, I mean, it's a good skill to put on just about anything. Good skill to put on just about anything. Agreed. So yeah, bonus leveler, QR, attack, smoke, distant defense, three, ether, mirage, falchion, um, distant defense when you don't have. I don't see the point of that. Uh, I yeah. mean, I guess you're tanking from a distance, but it's not like you're getting anything out of that. Yeah, generally you're speaking, 38 res at most. Right. Ooh. Generally speaking, you would want to have DC for this distant defense to really have a real bearing on the battle. Aside from that, I guess Ether is fine, QR is fine. I don't know. I would go Heavy Blade or something, to be honest. Or Unless you got Lucina support. Or yeah. Lucina support. Close yeah, defense. if you have Lucina support. Or you could use a stance. Steady posture works. Mirror stance just came out. That's really nice on him. Mm -hmm. Just, unless you're going to run DC, just, just not necessary. Right. You have quite a few options is the thing. But yeah, aside from that, it's a fine build. Um, but this really sticks on whether you have a good support hero backing him up. So. Yep. Distant counter, attack, defense, link, defense, smoke, and mirror stance too. Interesting. Here's the thing. I do agree with this to a certain degree. This is your best bet. This is indeed your best bet it's for to run a DC character, run DC on a free-to-play sword hero. 
There's really nothing else. Yeah. And just okay. To be fair, there are there are other, other heroes that I would not suggest them. It's between Itsuki and Astrum, and Itsuki has like twelve more res than Astrum. He's like low twenties. So this is your best bet. The only issue is just that thirty-two res is still not a lot of res. It's good enough with his HP, especially if he doesn't get double to take a shot. Maybe even two shots. Oh, actually, no, that's pushing it. But yeah. Well, 36 res with mere stance. You might not be too far off from that. Might not be too far off. You're right. But it's it's just like, it's a bit iffy. I really think that res was more meant for him to tank a dragon shot so he doesn't die in one shot. Because Astrum actually much. could die in one shot to a dragon. And he wouldn't really do much on the retaliation anyways. Yeah, he wouldn't really do much on retaliation. Whereas with Itsuki, I do think that's the idea with him. That 32 res was meant for him to just take one dragon shot, regardless of color. I think blues still might kill him. But the idea was like, mm -hmm. if he can, if he gets the counter attack, he one shots them. So. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, blues, I mean, the advantage, but blues aren't exactly that high in attack compared to reds, and so he's not off bad. Oh, right. I, I'm just saying, like the blue dragons, he if. If it works, I don't if know it's if it works very out. well invested, I guess, but yeah, just in general, you should be able to sponge at least one shot. I mean, the only thing is, your builds, besides just encountering Mirror's Dance, not exactly do a lot to synergize with this concept. Mm -hmm. Um, aside from that, keeping attack defense link, that's that is what he comes with, right? I'm not going crazy, <laughs> that is what he comes right. with, yeah. Um, is is very fair to be honest. That's not all. We don't really have a lot of access to link skills, and he's Mordecai has that already. Just Mordecai has five it. stars though. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, five stars. But yeah, um, I'm moving bad to say about the build. I I think it's something he can do. I just wouldn't really suggest it. I mean, right. if you run, if you're really worried about it, you could just run an attack res link from Titania. You'd be yeah. Able to get some res, but with res. Yeah, I. Res it just really depends on if you can get the res on him. So, I would actually suggest distant defense, but I do think mirror stance makes sense because he wants to get hit by dragons up close as well. So. I think mirror stance is fine. Back yeah. Best support. Yeah, and don't worry about his defense and archers. If they bypass his defense, sorry, if they bypass his counter attack, anyways, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, you, there's nothing you do about it. I mean. Whereas with yeah. everything else, all that defense, yeah, you got it. It's right in that Mirage Falchion. It's right in that attack defense link. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense to, to set him up like this. Attack defense bond, renewal, drive defense two, sturdy blow two. I like this. Personally, this is trying to make him dual phase. But I think attack defense bond makes a lot of sense on him. Just It reminds me a lot like base Krom, the same idea of dropping a bond skill on him and just sticking a hero on him. Whereas Itsuki doesn't need that nearly as much because of Mirage Falchion. You don't have to stick somebody next to him. But he would use that defense quite well. So that, depending on who attacks him first, reasonably it's the first enemy hero. So you got seven, 7 defense, another 5 here. So that's 12, 48 defense. You're taking negligible negligible damage. And then, yeah, you'll be you'll be good. Yeah. It's basically between Bond and Brazen right now if you want to up his attack def. Yep, and yep. Bond is really nice if you're trying to focus on the session part, where your allies are moving closer to Itsuki and then he moves, or when you're trying to immediately be the enemy phase tank. Right, right, and that's what I agree with as well. Story Blow is a good... Honestly, I would like it, like him to focus on one phase, except for the fact that Itsuki can do a bit of both, so it's he, hard to, like, fault it. built for both. Yeah, it's... and sturdy blow is nice when you're trying to actually break away from the crowd for a little bit. Right. So yeah, can't say anything bad about it. Usually, this isn't my preference, but because of how Mirage Falchion works, <laughs> it's hard to say anything. Simple build. I mean, the only thing is that Ignis is gonna take a lot. Uh, Brock. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's why I would be like maybe conserve QR. Renewal QR is actually a great combination. Yeah. yeah, it's keys. Uh, Fernhard's it's key. Ruptured Sky, DC, Wrath. Oh, that's a uh, male Violet. That is one dead male Violet. Yep. That is a uh, male Violet, possibly female Violet, too, because of Wrath. Hopefully it was Astrum. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I remember this we... person was just really salty. Do we have a hint? 
No, if you don't have cool. a hint. Um, I would, I would say, wait, there's attack speed form. Attack speed form. Uh, uh, that that could wait. be from like Nino or Marth or Petra. Uh, okay, that's a weird one to put on him. Sure. I mean, uh, I guess. I guess it would work. It would work. Okay. Um, I'm gonna guess it's male Byleth. Anyways, the entire idea with DC Wrath Drive Defense too. I mean, he has that Brazen Attack Res. Yeah, Brazen Attack Res with Wrath would work out a lot better. That way, you get that extra seven Res, seven Attack, Mirage Falchion backs up your defense here. Between that, I think you're pretty well set up. And Wrath can drop your Rupture Sky to one cooldown or no cooldown, depending on if you just wait long enough, I guess. Mm -hmm. The only thing is Ruptured Sky against Dragons doesn't do shit. Because Itsuki is going to one-shot them anyway, so who cares? I mean, you might as well go overkill. I, I guess. Overkill is but... quite better than regular kill. <laughs> I guess. But yeah, the extra damage against Beasts is, is very meaningful. But yeah, aside from that, um, better Moonbow is essentially what it is. So Yeah, might as well go with the slow, lowest. You don't have acceleration outside of Wrath. Right. Uh, I kind of feel like we were seeing this in the other hero. Uh, sorry, the last it's key, the attack speed mm. form. But well, this is the commitment. Here's the thing. I, what, wow. I I do think it works. I do think it works. Attack speed At form. This can, point? Yeah. Because huh. attack speed form can add up to seven extra speed. I'm not really sure about speed res too. Um, but with the law attack speed and attack speed form, that's three speed. And that's a potential another another seven so his base speed is like what 31 32 um you could actually yeah it's 32 right now because of the flower. 42 you could get to 42 speed which is really fair you wouldn't need you wouldn't really need cure i mean on some heroes you would still need it but yeah like it's he can actually get to that point of like 40 something speed and the mirage falchion would still get him over like 40 something defense and then his res will be good enough so Huh, uh, it drops speed? It's because speed of low attack. <laughs> Sorry? Drops because of low attack, so it's like 38 base res, and they can't buff against it. Right. But yeah, in this current setup, um, I do like this. I think there is quite a bit, bit of merit to this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a very solid... Like, you don't need to boost his attack that much, given that he already has 6. Mm -hmm. So you might as well just invest in his bulk and speed, and speed takes the most commitment... So I think that this build really does well to complement that. Yeah, Just and all out speed bulk. Yeah, and the lol attack speed I really like because what you mentioned, it helps his res and helps his defense. So he's actually like a good balance of attack and defense. Ooh. Oh, That's shit. A... I like this. Hold on, why is there no close call? Oh, wait, he wouldn't use it well. He wouldn't no, use it well. No, because he doesn't have high speed. But I think this is just enough speed to keep him from getting double But why would you only take steady posture three? Um, because what else are you going to take off, Shannon? Wouldn't you <laughs> take his B skill still? Because you could just learn study posture. It's posture. Wrath. Oh, it's Wrath. So he probably just killed one Shannon. Well, so no, sorry, I, I forgot then. Larce is the one with Pell. Pell. Okay, my bad. It's call. so easy to make a mistake at this point, because they've released on the same banner. Um, but yeah, no, that makes sense then. Yeah, you definitely take Wrath, because you just get racing for study posture 2, and then just Wrath 3. Oh, thanks, calling too fast. Hey, Nims, you should look at my Astrum since you're looking at all these Itsukis. Haha, <laughs> cat 5,937,063,101. I will, I will, definitely. Right after this. Right after the Itsuki train. But yeah, um, to be honest, I really want to put the comparison between those two. Because for any new player nowadays, I would suggest Astrum or Itsuki. If you're really one of them, Astrum or Itsuki. Um, so comparing those... Oh, I already done the comparison. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was in the video. Um, but yeah, uh, aside from that, this build itself, Steady Posture, I really like this because he's at middling speed, but Steady Posture actually adds 6 speed. Swift Stance actually adds another 4, so adding 10 speed, 42 speed. I would not I would argue you generally don't need QR that, around, that around that much speed, especially if you buff him for speed after that. 4 extra res, 36 res, um, 6 extra defense, up to another 7 defense, 49 defense. Yeah, that is, it's just like the perfect mixture of of attack, speed, defense, and res. Like it, this is this is how you make Itsuki shine. He's literally has no true weakness. It's okay. No, he has the weakness in res, 
But with that much speed, if he only gets hit one time, it's not much of a problem. Yeah, he has no real flaw. I mean, he doesn't excel anywhere like speed Maritos, but he also doesn't have anything that's like sub 40 besides res. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And that's why that's why I really like a build like this. Also, gotta remember, same yeah. posture also adds guard. So the other realistic thing, killing him with specials, and now they can't charge them. Yep. Really good enemy face. Right. I really like this build. I just, it's very hard to suggest. It's so expensive. It's, it's literally a Shannon. And well, I mean, it's one five star if we're being technical. Right. But here's the thing. Um, Shannon might actually do the Itsuki thing better than Itsuki. Like this idea. Uh, his res is actually terrible. His res is actually terrible. You're right. But yeah, that's that's essentially what it comes down to. Defense. This is another build. I do believe this is a real thing. Um, it's predominantly from the fact that he has decent enough res, but his speed is a bit lacking. And here's the thing, it's possible for him to take two shots, especially if you buff him up, so. Pretty much. It's very standard fare, but perfectly fine right. in that regard. And you gotta keep in mind, he gets attacked, he attacks back, they attack him, he attacks back. Now Aether's at one cooldown, so mm -hmm. you can heal and him back up after. Lucina. Huh? Or if you have Lucina. Have Lucina. Yeah. Depending on your setup too, or if you have infantry pulse, it could just be instant ether afterwards. So, which, given it's light season, I wouldn't put it above you to have Lucina. Which, all these itsuki, most of these itsuki have been light season so far, which is pretty oh, interesting. Right. Right. That actually is interesting. I guess they really want to improve his speed res. Oh yeah, this is also one of the builds I definitely talked about. Here's the thing, I oh, do yeah. think Fortress Ooh. Defense res is legitimate. He has a defense, he has a res, why not double down? But you're like, okay, but he's gonna lose attack. But why does it matter? It's two attack when Mirage Falchion can provide you up to seven, so. Yeah, it's not a big loss, especially where it's default plus. At minimum three, yeah. Three defense, three attack. So you're not actually sacrificing anything. I mean, yeah. you still are sacrificing Well, you attack, are, but, but you aren't. Y you, yeah, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Whereas mm -hmm. a 38 res, 42 defense does matter because now he can reach 49 defense and 38 res is is, is respectable. If he gets hit twice, yeah. here to put the math into perspective, if they have 50 attack, um, yeah, that would be like what 12 and 12, so yeah. And that's only assuming that attack res link is inactive. Yeah, I suggested for a reason. Wait, yeah, it's attack res link. I skipped over that because I just 100% figured it would be attack defense link. Yeah, no. They were smart. Well, I don't blame them for this one. Trying to go for the res instead of doubling down on defense. Right. But yeah, this is essentially why um, I think it's where Itsuki really shines. If you drop a fortress defense res on him, you take his two great defensive stats and make them even better. And and then, like, defensively, he takes negligible damage. And res-wise, it's now very difficult just to kill him. When they have 60 attack, yeah, I guess he dies. Because that's be 22 and 22, that's that's 44. He would die. Yeah. But outside of I that... Mean, yeah. I mean, if you have to merge and you have the flowers, you're barely, you're still barely dead. But if you have any, like, any other buffs on top of that, you're fine. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, assuming attack res link is active, that's 45, 40... Okay, right. Minimum. Right. If attack res, is, is, attack res link is active, he's even better off. But yeah. That's that's Itsuki. This is this is how Itsuki shines. So I I do like this build a lot. If I had the fodder, this would probably be my approach. Personally. I'm actually considering killing off my cliff. If I could decide to commit to Itsuki over uh, Astrum, I, I would do this. Well, if you're worried about cliff, you could just summon another one right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna go pull for cliff. Next we have Haruhi, and I do like this one too. Um, we saw attack speed form. But we already know his defense is pretty high, so why not go even a bit further? Because as high defense as 49 is, um, you still take damage. Now, if you get closer to 60, you're, you're now taking negligible, negligible damage, no damage, and that Ignis is, of course, much, much better. Wow, uh, that's 57 defense, assuming everything's active. Yep, close defense, attack defense form, and Mirage Falchion, 7, 7, and a 6, so yeah. Huh. Well, uh, uh, rip Abel, but at the same time, you have turned him into the ultra physical duelist. Hey, right. you mean that character that should have demoted? Ah, <laughs> uh, shush. 
Yeah, I will. Uh, I if, between Itsuki and Astrum, I don't see the point of Ivo anymore. You take either of them over her. Yep. Yeah, I mean she has the guard sword, and her defense will eventually be better than his. Uh, but she's five yeah. star locked, and yeah, it's it's a why it's a small ever? advantage. Just yeah. why would you ever? Yeah. <sighs> poor poor Eel. You guys gotta she remember. She can never catch a break. Yeah, she can't. You guys gotta remember. Ivo's sword only adds seven defense. Guess whose sword can no, add seven doesn't. defense? Oh wait, how much is it? No, it's ten. It's if you guard. refine it. Wait, it's it's guard. Oh, sorry, it's guard. She guard. She doesn't have a pref weapon. It's well, not a pref weapon. No, it's not um. Wait, are you? Vanguard. Her weapon it's is uh, in her guard. guard. It's guard effect. Oh, it's guard, guard sword. sword. Okay, so she doesn't have specials against her, which is a good. Boom. Oh, it's okay. Cool. The problem with that is triggered. the problem with that is the other build that we're I'm really high up on is study posture. It's key. In yeah. Which case, if you're gonna run posture, there's no. Yeah. No, I I sorry I I don't see a point. I will truly guys. It's just you have pressure weapons you like on her. Other two. It yeah. It depends on if you like her, and that's a small one as well because that game never released officially in the West. So yeah. She was pretty popular for what that game had off vanities wise. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah. Um, between attack, smoke, attack, defense for Mirage Falchion, I like this. If you initiate the battle, especially if you kill a dragon or something, or you you have him bait, it's it's really potent. Between those, I would say yeah. yeah. It's between those. All right, next is Sanctia. Uh, DC Vantage. This is so old school. I don't really see it. And you have Soul, huh? Huh. Somebody didn't inherit. Brazen attack, resin soul. Is this for ether? This looks like what you would run on a unit that has, you know, enemy phase brave. Right. I think it might be for ether. Probably. Well, I mean, it doesn't make sense though because you're not gonna proc that ether anytime soon. Yeah, you're not. I would go QR. I don't think it's Ski's advantage sweeper, and with yeah. wind blessing. Uh, obviously, it's not designed for ether rates. Right. Now, you could make the argument here because he has Mirage Falchion triggering, but it's actually funny. If you make him a Vanish Sweeper, his attack drops with every battle he takes. I mean, if they die, then if I'm not mistaken, it doesn't. It, wait, if they. Is that how it works? That's I, right. I didn't look at like that. I haven't actually tested that yet. I wanted to and I forgot. Number of foes who have already acted. I believe there's a video on that. I think Sacred Spear did that. So you guys should want to check it out. It's on that. Yeah. It's on um, I can't remember. Man. If DC they die. Vantage, what is this year one of the game? Hmm? DC Vantage, what is this year one? Yeah, this was a huge I mean, year one build. Also, but, um, year three, but. Except it's actually good there. Because it's on um, units who have really high scaling damage up. DC Vantage in 2019, 2020, I would honestly just suggest for true brave weapon heroes like Keaton, like Leaf, like Sword Heart, I guess. Those are the heroes I would really do it on. I mean, you also did it with Kronia. Huh? You oh, did yeah, it with Altina, Kronia. yeah. Man, no, it's like Kronia. Really did come oh, Kronia. That. Yeah, and, and characters like Kronia. Yeah, those are realistically the only ones I would. Sure yeah, you best. need like upwards of 80 attack at least, or you need to be doing a lot of chip. Start yeah. really looking at vantage sweeping. Right. Um, you get to 69, which is respectable, but that's really not a lot. Uh, not enough in a lot of situations. <sighs> okay, weird. Um, moving on. Uh, this it's keys right average distant ward odd res wave distant defense two. I. What? I. <laughs> Huh? Okay, normally I would be like, this is so stupid, but technically Distant Ward versus works versus Dragonstone heroes, so it, it, yeah, does, I mean, I guess, it helps him if against you're not dragons. About archers, if you're not worried about archers, the, then this is The idea is bad. probably that his defense is enough to shrug off archers, I guess. Which it kind of is, if you, you know, have enough builds into him. I'm right. so confused. What is this? Like, it's a dragon duelist, but also a mage duelist. It's a dragon mage duelist that's... Okay, we're gonna talk about how he hasn't finished his distant defense seal yet. Yeah, he hasn't finished his distant... I bet that's for ether as well. A lot of people haven't... An odd res wave. Straight up soul. I mean, why not res wave? I guess, but... Okay, um... Here's the thing, I can pretty much... Uh, it's hard to fault this because, again, 
43 defense. Again, this when this is six anyway, this 38 and a potential of 44 and then a potential of 49 res when everything triggers. So can you really fault it? Not really. What yeah, not this? really. I mean, like, yeah. you won't be taking much damage from mages. Archers are just going to dink sometimes, and dragons actually get something from his A slot. Right. I can't yeah. fault that. Uh, it's just very awkward, and I don't think this is, is ideal. Just a ward in general. Yeah, like, I've ideal. always said, is like, if you have no defense to be able to tank an archer, you might as well. This is one of those cases where it's like, I guess if you have enough defense where you're not going to take damage, but it's still a little inconsistent. Yeah. Right. Um, I, the only thing about it is like, I guess you have, have a point there because it works against dragon stones and he's anti dragons. Yeah. But the counter argument is like that attack shouldn't really matter too much. No, it does matter, but he should one shot them okay. I, either way. It's mostly for the dragons that he not. Yeah, I because think it's 60 attack, 63 base. Mm. Yeah, I th I think it's more for the res, but either way, fine. It's 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 weird. It's fine. Uh, what? I mean, it's darting stance. It's dart. Yeah, it's darting. Steady posture, darting stance. I would have done double steady posture. Um, but I see yeah. the merit in the darting stance because that's six, and six to 43. 42 is already respectable enough for me, but mm. yeah, the extra. Give him the dragon flower for speed. I think that's his third dragon flower, and you probably can just run steady posture instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now soul, I've been seeing a lot of soul, and I am or soul not stands. completely hmm? sure about it. I understand if you're doing it for like tempest trials or something, but otherwise, I mean. It's his default skill. Some people just haven't inherited. Uh, because the easy thing to do is just bonfire. <laughs> yeah, really, really easy. easy. Especially, I mean, like, don't get me wrong, mid ether is pretty nice. And I guess for the sustain purpose, it really makes it hard to kill him. Mm -hmm. I just kind of prefer that you either invest more bulk or you invest more in de damage rather than this hybridized speed. Bulk. Right. Oh wait, they're a bot huh? reposting old messages. You are right. That is hilarious. Oh. That is <laughs> the bots are getting smarter, guys. <laughs> Sentient oh, bot. They're trying to blend in. Oh my god. Become Have you guys human. ever talked to talked to hmm? bots before? I think we we found a deviant. Okay. I, Stops impact. I know. I think null fall up is really good, but it's a little questionable. It's but a little it questionable. Does stop some of the meta skills like impact right now. Usually null fall up, you see it on heroes that are pretty quick. Yeah. At thirty-two speed, I'm not so sure. Um, other than um, that, fortress defense res we've already talked about. I think that's pretty ideal on him. QR, pretty ideal on him if you if you don't have anything boosting his speed up. It's just a null no follow-up. I don't know. You, you let me know. What do you think about null no follow-up? This is I just think there's better B skills. Hell, I would even take renewal to be honest. No follow-up is good on just about anything. Only issue is that only 32 speed. Player facing against armors, you're probably not gonna double. And yeah. you might still get not doubled by some of the faster ones. Right. So. Uh I mean, I guess it's hard to invest in his speed when you're going so far bulk, but at the same time, you're really just using that to stop player phase um, anti-follow-up, which is not a very big niche. Mm hmm Hmm. No, I, I go for a new <laughs> Never mind. <Thank> Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> okay, let's rephrase it. He's flexible to an extent. Uh, Mm, actually, this that's, works. This is fine. This, this friggin' is works. Are you kidding? This works. <laughs> Why does this work? Six oh, speed. No. Another three that's... here. Forty speed. Yeah. Uh, additionally, another six attack. Potentially another seven here. So sixty-eight potential. If you bait somebody, <laughs> this friggin' works. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Nope. This works just fine. Why I does mean, this work? 
because he's actually gonna have some decent speed and his attack is going through the roof. Jesus Christ. Yeah, if you beat a dragon, even a blue dragon, you're definitely one-shotting them and you're definitely taking the hit because the threat attacks. Definitely beat. gonna one round them at the very least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, one could argue Ether might not be the most consistent, but we'll I yeah, Ether might not be the most consistent, but I, I would still take a five hundred SP skill and he's I mean it, he already has soul. Cross. <laughs> oh right, it's also Chrom. That's that's right. It feels more right if he has Ether, to be honest. That's yeah. why I gave it to him, it just felt right. But yeah, Heavy Blade, you attack, minus two. They attack, minus one. You attack, minus two. Ether's ready for next battle. So it does make sense. Yeah. Now, wow. this is the question of 40 speed. Is that enough? But then you can just buff him, and they can't be buffed for speed, so it's probably enough. <laughs> so. Yeah, you'll be able to m bridge the gap pretty easily, especially since, again, light season. Also, he's running threat and attack speed three, so. He yeah, can just wow. steal speed from people. Look at mm -hmm. this guy. This guy actually went in. Swiss Barrel 2, Distant Counter, and Attack Speed solo? Wow. Man. Wow. Uh, somebody really likes him. Sword Valor. That's Gray or uh, Leany? Lean. Which... Mm. Where did you take yes. that from? Why would you take it? <laughs> That's weird. Because Gray has Zanbato, and Lean has Vanguard, or Safeguard. And you took neither. Obviously, it didn't take either of those. Huh, right. you just wanted the sword to... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Doesn't Knight Krom have that too? And oh yeah, either? Horse Krom has that. Oh, and Ether. Ah, oh, that's even worse. Wait, Horse Krom for, for Ether? He yeah, killed you, Horse you, Krom for Ether. <laughs> and the Sword Valor. That's, that's amazing. That's extravagant. Oh, that's amazing. Shit. Now I get... But why? You just... You just five-star... Irony. 